Hello, Steady on here, um, and this tutorial is going to be on creating a healing part in Roblox. This is what it will look like. So, as you can see, I've been damaged a lot, and I'm missing quite a lot of health. But if I stand on this part, it will heal me all the way, and it will also not let me heal for an, a further 10 seconds. Something you can customize, of course. You can customize it to as many seconds as you like. Um, and then it will come back to green, and I can heal myself again. So if I just damage myself by standing on this part, uh, and then heal myself again, it will heal me. But if I try and do the same thing again while it's red, as you can see it doesn't heal me. Uh, I have to wait until it goes green again. So we're going to be making this now. So firstly what we're going to want to do is we're going to make a block part, just a normal Roblox default part, um, and we're going to resize this part, uh, make it well, make, you can make it look like whatever you like, I'm going to make it look like a green uh, neon healing pad, so we're just going to change the colour to green and the material to neon. I'm also going to change the surface to smooth to make sure it doesn't have any uh, studs on it. Okay, we're also going to anchor it just to make sure it doesn't fly around while we're using it. So now we've done that, we're going to very simply call it healing pad, you can call it whatever you want, it doesn't matter, um, and then in it we're going to put a script called healing script. Now, first we're going to find two variables at the top of the script. So, the first variable is going to be called local uh, cooldown. And cooldown refers to the number of seconds that you want it to take, that you want it to time between uh, healing the person and being able to heal the person again. So the amount of time you can't heal uh, for uh, between healing times, basically. So in this case, it's going to be 10 seconds. And then we're going to find another variable called um, can heal. And this is going to be a bo boolean value, which means it can either be true or false. So when it's true, uh, people will be able to heal themselves on the part. But when it's false, people won't be able to heal themselves on the part. Now we're going to create a function. And this function is going to be called part touched. Okay? And it's also going to have a parameter called PRT, which will refer to the part that's touched the healing pad. Um, and we're going to have something that fires this function, which is going to be script parent touched connect function oh wait sorry not function part touched okay so that, that means that when this when the healing pad is touched this function will be called and it will run using PRT which is the parameter for the part that's just touched the healing pad okay so now we're gonna say we have to figure out whether that part belongs to a person or if it's just a random part that's happened to touch the healing pad. So to do that we're just going to say if part parent so we've we found the part's character by doing this find first child so we're looking for something inside the character humanoid then okay so what we've now done is we have checked if the character we checked if the part belongs to a person uh, and if, if it belongs to their character. And if it does belong to their character, we're going to do this. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to check if can heal then. So what we've actually just done here is we've said if can heal equals true then duh, 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 everything in here. But we're not going to put and equals true because you don't need to. You can just put can heal. So what it actually does is if can heal is a true value, then do what's in between here. Um, so if can heal, then uh, can heal equals false. And the reason we've done that is because we don't want people to be able to heal one after the other. We want to wait that 10 second cooldown. So as soon as someone is started healing, we want to stop them being stop anyone else being able to heal. So by doing can heal equals false, that means that this statement is no longer true. So if someone else touches the part then they won't be able to do anything within here, it will just stop there and the whole script will end. Okay, so if can heal, then can heal equals false. And then we're going to say script parent color equals, right? And we're going to say color three from RGB. And what we're actually doing here is we're changing the color from green to red. So just find a shade of red you like. Um, I'm going to go with this normal red. I'm going to take the contents of this color box here and we're going to paste it between these two brackets. Uh, and that means that this is the color it will go once 
well, this is the color it will go when you can't heal. Okay. So now we've done all the visual stuff and we've stopped the other people being able to heal. We're now going to actually heal the person. So to do that, all we're going to do is we're going to say part parent humanoid health equals 100. And so we, what we've actually done here is we've healed the person all the way to full health. Um, so now they can walk off with 100 health, um, which is the full health uh, that a person can have. And then we're going to say wait cooldown. So what we've actually done here is we actually we've done the equivalent of doing this wait 10, but instead of saying wait 10, it means that you can just change this value and the whole script will work properly. So what we've actually done here is we said wait for the ver for the number defined in the variable cooldown. So cooldown is equal to 10, and if we put cooldown here, what that's actually saying is 10. So it's waiting 10 seconds. Now, once it's waited 10 seconds, we're going to say can heal equals true, because people can now heal again after it's waited that 10 second cooldown. And then we're going to say script parent color equals color 3 from RGB. And then we're going to find a green color we want. So I'm going to find a green color. And once again, I'm going to copy this color from the box here. And we're going to paste it between these two brackets. So that's the color it will go when you can heal. And then we're going to say... Uh, and that's all we have to do. So now let's test it. So if I uh, go over here and I get the part, the damaging part I made earlier, um, and as you can see, I'm now on a very low health. So I'll just wait for this to cool, uh, to get okay. So now if I stand on here, I've now got full health. If I damage myself again and I stand on here, it won't heal me. But if I wait for it to go green again. I can now heal myself. So thanks for watching. Uh, leave some of the uses that you did for this in the description. I'd love to see what you've done with this. If you have trouble with it, you can leave comments in the uh, description and I'll try and get back to you or someone else will help you. Uh, and you can join my Discord if you have any further questions and I'll try and answer there or other people in there will also answer. Um, and best one of the best resources on Roblox for asking questions about stuff like this is the Roblox scripting forums where, where they'll be more than happy to help you uh, with any issues you have with stuff like this. So thanks for watching and bye.